Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to another episode of Generation Old School. In this video, we got invited to an undisclosed location. The owner asked me to not disclose the place or the warehouse. As you guys can see, he owns a big amount of old school cars. Most of them are for sale for the, good, for the right price. I'm gonna do a quick walk around video and show you guys all the cars that they have here. If you guys enjoyed this video, like always, don't forget to like and also, if it is your first time passing by my channel, subscribe. This 3100 that you guys see here is for sale, but I don't see the price. It's a 1952 3100. As soon as I find out, I'll let you guys know. This one looks a little bit more stuck than its pointer over here. Automatic transmission. White wall tires, very nice. Two tone, the roof is white on gray and black interior. Well, here we have a Ford F100 or F1 that's for sale for $26,000. Interior is not original at all, but it looks in pretty good conditions. At least the body does. Now I'm gonna show you guys the Toyota Grand Cruisers. They have two, one in red and one in green. For some reason, these cars keep on going up more and more in value. Let me know which one you guys like the most, the uh, red one or the green one. The red one is for sale for $37,000. It is a 1977 Toyota Land Cruiser FJ40. And the green one is also for sale for $56,000. It's a 1980 Toyota Land Cruiser. Over here we have a Chevy square body. It's a 19, looks like a 1987. Yep, 1987 Chevy square body. This course keep on going more and more in value. Another Toyota Land Cruiser. This one is uh, mustard and it's also for sale, but I don't see the price. I will get back to you guys on this one. It's a 1961. If I'm not mistaken, this one is a Plymouth satellite. Yep, 1969 Plymouth satellite. It is for sale for $97,500. green interior it doesn't have a factory radio as you guys can see over there it has a pioneer cd player if you have ninety seven thousand dollars laying around and you want to buy a plymouth this is the one that you can get guys next up we're going to take a look at a 1956 gmc 100 truck with a work bed
This one is also for sale at $44,995. Next to it, we have a Chevy. What type of Chevy is this? Apologize, don't know what it is. It is a 1965 Chevelle. Man, I should have known better. And over here, we have a yellow Mustang. This is a 1965 Ford Mustang. It is for sale for $95,000. Black rims, black stripes. Interior looks very nice. This is a nineteen thirty four Packard Supreme Super Eight. And it is for sale for $275,000. Let, let me know if you had $275,000, would, would this be a car that you will buy? Over here we have a 1963 Chevy Impala. For sale at fifty-two thousand, fifty-two thousand dollars. This is a beautiful car. This is a 1962 Chevy Impala for sale at $59,000. Next to it, we have a beautiful station wagon. Very cool looking car. Also for sale at $99,000. It is a 1957 Chevy Bel Air Nomad. This one was sold. It doesn't have the price, but it was sold and it is a 1963 Impala station wagon. Very nice looking car. Red interior, beautiful car. Very nice black paint, no rust at all. Very nice. This is one of the cars that I like the most. It's a 1970 Volkswagen Boss. It's not the oldest one, but still is very nice with a lot of potential. And it is for sale for $38,000. Over here we have three Cobras. I'm gonna tell you guys the prices. 
This one is a 1966 replica Cobra for $52,000. Next to it, we have another replica, but I do not see the price. And this one is another 1986 Cobra for Pontiac GTO Don't see the price on this one This one is a 1964 GTO for sale at 71500 Over here we have a 1953 Ford pickup truck F100 for sale at fifty thousand dollars. Very nice interior. It's a long bed. Well, guys, if you enjoyed this video. Let me know with a like. If it is your first time passing by my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Also, you can follow us on social media at Generation Old School. And I'll see you guys on my next episode.